All right, so today I am going to be working on changing out my uh, lean-to shelter and make it ready to keep two more horses over here, hopefully for the summertime, or at least the summer months. So I'm going to show you what it looks like now and what I'm going to be doing to it um, throughout the day. So here it is right now. Uh, it was storing winter hay. I had about 100 bales of local grass hay in here. And um, the horses used to live in here before I built my barn. But I'm just going to take out the last of the hay and move it over to my new carport and take out the um, pallets. I have mats that are already down. I'm going to take down the tarps. I'm going to take down these boards. I have some gates I'm going to put up in the front because this is where... Um, we're actually going to enter in from it and then the horses on the other side of that tarp go out into the pasture but I'm going to um, attach some T-post hot tape paddocks out there. Um, this is where the pasture is and where the um, paddocks are going to go. So yeah. some progress. Uh, got some mats moved. It's not exactly a square building in here so <clears throat> it makes it a little bit tricky but I'm gonna take down all those boards now. They're only eight footers and this is ten feet wide so um, I'm gonna have to probably put a panel down in the middle here but get moving on that. tarps down and they'll have their paddocks here thinking about 12 by 24 maybe 36 it's kind of an awkward space here in the pasture so we'll see what works I got my panels and my two eight-foot gates from tractor supply 10% off yesterday so that was cool so I'm going to move those over there now. Don't need a gym membership when you have a farm. <laughs> 
personal rant of mine. Look at this. They're not real. I have one little half one here. Nothing right there. I wish I knew that when I bought these pants. You know, at least I've got a spot. Oh my gosh, it's like... Jeez, wow, okay. I got the gates up. Pretty good progress in the last, I don't know what it's been, uh, hour, hour and a half. So, gates just vex me. Can never get them perfect. So, the next thing I'm going to do, um, I'm going to find another mat for this stall. Probably put a panel down the middle and bring some T-posts over. I think I'm going to, I think I remember this being 10 feet wide. So, I think I'm going to send the T-posts out from here. I'm going to have to change my cross fencing a little bit and send it out here about 24 feet and then across to here. So that would give them about uh, 24-ish. It's gonna be a little kind of oblong, but, and then that side will have a slightly bigger one. So that's what I'm gonna work on next. Joey's helping me, huh, Joey? Joey's helping me. Helping me eat my glove. Oh boy. Those aren't for you. No. 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 <laughs> Another hour's gone by and I've gotten all of the hot tape up for the two paddocks. I left um, those two spots open because I'm going to put some gates there so that they have access to the pasture. So. Yeah, not too shabby. Not bad for a morning project. That's a wrap up for today. Dogs are all out investigating. Obviously I gotta close up this man door I had once created a couple years ago and decide how I wanna do the gates for there. I'll have to support the T-posts if I put up more panel gates. But uh, I think it's pretty good pretty good start from what it was this morning. Uh, let's see, so it's April 20th and I'm hoping to have it ready to advertise for some boarding um, for May. So we shall see. Not too shabby though. It's a good start. Thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you guys again sometime. It's my first time documenting like this, so we'll see if I keep it up or not. Bye!